Hey, Court Reporters. Welcome back to my channel. Nini Leaks has broken up with her boyfriend and Yoni Seles, CEO, after about two years of dating, and she has already hit the Instagram streets to accuse him of being a narcissist. Now, I don't know why she's saying these things. She hasn't yet revealed what he has done or said to her over the years to make her feel this way about him, but she is accusing him of being a narcissist nonetheless, and Hollywood Unlocked got the screenshots to prove it. So here we go. These are from her Instagram stories last night. The first one says, narcissists do not have the ability to self-reflect. They cannot see anything wrong with what they do, and they only see fault in your reaction. They believe every argument is caused by you because to them, there was no problem with their actions until you reacted to them. They 100% believe that you're the problem and they are the victim. It's mind blowing. And then she posted something else that says, a narcissist is the devil. I'm sorry, but I kind of have to laugh here when it comes to what Nini is posting there about how some people uh, cannot admit fault and they only kind of like hate on you for your reaction to the horrible things that they do or whatever it is that they've done, even if it's not horrible, because it's reminding me of her lawsuit against Bravo, right? She sues Bravo. She accuses them of racism and whatnot. Um, and then, of course, they don't want her back after the lawsuit because it was just, you know, too big of a lot. She revealed herself as being too big of a liability after that. And then what does Nini do? She starts acting like, you know, she has no idea why these people wouldn't want her back or this or that. Like, you know, she just accuses it on so many things rather than the lawsuit that she filed against them. So I do find that to be a little bit um, silly, but I digress. I don't know. I do wonder what goes down in relationships sometimes because I feel like everyone ends up feeling like their ex is some kind of a narcissist at the end. Like, you know, Nini Lisa is not the first person to call her ex a narcissist or accuse them of being one. And she certainly is not the last. Like, it seems like most people at the end of the day are just really, really difficult to be with. And we don't have enough vocabulary in the English language to describe that and the complexities that come with that. So we all kind of lean towards the word narcissist. And I think that that's an interesting phenomenon. And I would love for new words to come about to describe the various pain or um, challenges that come with being in a long-term relationship with somebody. You know what I mean? Um, mind you, Nini's boyfriend is still married. I know he finally filed for separation from his wife. I think his wife's lawsuit against Nene Leakes is still ongoing. She sued Nene, correct me if I'm wrong, for alienation of affection or something like that. Basically sued her for allegedly being a mistress, right? She's like, what are you doing getting with my husband? All right, I'm going to sue you because it's your fault that my husband has uh, taken his affections away from me. Um, so, which is really interesting. I do find that to be a fascinating law because I think that the spouse should be able to sue their spouse rather than the mistress or the Mr. S if it is a guy um, one day. But I find that quite fascinating. I hope, you know, with him filing for separation and whatnot and the wife wanting to be paid for her suffering, girl, go after your husband too. Sue them both, right? Have them be co-defendants if they want to bang each other so bad. Let them bang it out in court and pay you what they owe you for playing with your life, playing with your emotions, playing with your mental health as well. And your physical health. When people do this sort of things behind your back, like they are exposing you to the potential of certain things physically, right? I'm talking STIs and whatnot, which is um, quite unfair. So I do understand how you would be allowed to sue, but I find it interesting that they only sue the other person and not their estranged lover, but I digress. Guys, are you surprised to see a breakup between Nini and her boyfriend, Nyoni Sela? Sorry about that. I am. I thought that they would last a good long time. I know that with him finally si with him finally filing for divorce, that it was a step in the right direction for this relationship and whatnot, but unfortunately not appears as though things ended in a very, very ugly way with what it is that Nini is saying here about him being a narcissist. I would love to know more. I saw some people in the comment section, by the way, saying that they would love to see a Nini Leaks and Kim Zolciak sort of spinoff show on another network. Obviously, it cannot be on Bravo because Nini is persona non grata at Bravo. Um, people want to see them kind of navigate their new love lives and their new single dem in some sort of like sex in the city style rela relationship show, reality show, or maybe like Queen's Court, like men 
fight for the opportunity to date these ladies. People would be fascinated by the idea of that. But to be honest with you, I don't think that it would be something that happens with the both of them because I believe that behind the scenes, Bravo is courting Kim to come back with a new show of her own. She already had her own spinoff called Don't Be Tardy for the Party. And now maybe it's going to be Don't Be Tardy for the Divorce or something else along those lines. So I just don't see her signing up with another network. And I think a lot of major networks are kind of scared of Nini because of her Bravo lawsuit. So it would be quite difficult for her to be able to shop her show to another network. So I don't know, but I, I would love to see her back on TV. I think she's one of the most iconic, hilarious reality stars of all time. And I dearly, dearly, dearly miss her. Nini, sorry about your breakup, girl. But listen, men are like the bus. There's always another one every two and a half to three minutes you'll be fine. Guys, let me know what you think about this breakup and a potential dating show for Nene Leaks in the comment section down below. And as usual, we'll chat. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.